Hello dear students. Welcome to our online class. It's all my pleasure to meet you again. I hope you are as ready as I am to start learning and have fun. This is lecture number 11. Pedagogy and Didactics. By the end of this lecture, students will be able to define the terms pedagogy and didactics. Establish the main differences between pedagogy and didactics, identify the role and function of pedagogy and didactics. If you have not been here before, then welcome to Univ English channel. If you do like videos like this, then, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and also smash the notification bell to receive notifications when I produce more videos like this. Also, let me know down the comments what are the difficulties you are facing right now. So, I can use your ideas for future videos. Introduction What do you know about pedagogy and didactics? In the teaching learning process, we need to understand some concepts that are very common. However, these concepts can, sometimes, confuse teachers and students as well, if they do not have a clear definition of them. In this video, we are going to present to you, the definition and establish the main differences between pedagogy and didactics. People often use both concepts pedagogy and didactics to mean teaching. But what is the difference between pedagogy and didactics? What is pedagogy? Pedagogy generally refers to the art and science of how teachers teach and how students learn it. Pedagogy includes the ways in which the teaching learning process occurs, the approach to teaching and learning, how the content is delivered and what skills students acquire as a result of their studies. Pedagogy is the science and art of education and learning theory. It is defined simply as the method, and practice, of teaching. It encompasses Teaching styles Teaching theory Feedback and assessment when planning a lesson, teachers will consider various methods of how to present the content in a smooth way. During the planning of a lesson, a teacher will consider various methods of delivering the content. Those decisions will be based on their own teaching preferences, their experiences, and the context in which they teach. Definition of Pedagogy What is the meaning of pedagogy? Pedagogy is practice-oriented, concerned more with applied aspects of language teaching, best seen as an applied component of didactics, Saar and White, 2016, page 142. Pedagogy is the instructional techniques and strategies that allow learning to take place. It refers to the interactive process between teacher practitioner and learner and it is also applied to include the provision of some aspects of the learning environment, including the concrete learning environment, and the actions of the family and community. Siraj Blatchford, Silver, Muttock, Gildan, and Bell, 2002, page 10. To put it simply, Pedagogy refers to the methods teachers use to teach. Pedagogy is the science and art of teaching. 1. Science, the knowledge of theories of learning and instructional strategies for teaching. 2. Art, correctly putting theories into practice and the building up teaching experiences. What is pedagogical process? Pedagogy refers to the teaching strategies teachers employ to impart the specialized knowledge and content of their subject areas, which include the following. Preparing content. How content is presented or delivered to learner. Connects with assets that are needed to present content. Pull together these assets to create cognitive psychology-based learning process. Evaluation of the learning process whether it is working correctly. The pedagogical competencies would include skills related to the creation of teaching and learning resources, teaching techniques and strategies, e-learning, students assessment, students motivation and classroom management. Pedagogical competence is a combination of knowledge of the subject area, extensive knowledge of student learning, and expertise in teaching and learning issues related to the subject area that enables the instructor to demonstrate pedagogical skills, required to align with learners' needs and the subject-based teaching issues. The effectiveness of the didactic triangle lies in its ability to define different kinds of relationships between teacher, student and subject matter, 
as well as the ability to link these relationships to a structural context. Pedagogy Etymology What is the history of pedagogy? Historically, teachers have been a part of education since ancient Greece, where Socrates was regarded as the founder of modern education in the 5th century BC. Schools began appearing in England as early as 597 AD, and King's School in Canterbury, Kent, is generally thought to be the first school in England. The first schools were often linked to the church, and King's School is today a public school. Lessons were taught as lectures, with a teacher explaining texts as the students read. As a result, the students debated through the answers to questions amongst themselves, then with opponents who were a little older, before finally engaging with the masters who taught them. Pedagogy Teaching Methods Different pedagogical methods are used in schools all over the world. Here are some examples of pedagogy methods. Active Learning Bloom's Taxonomy Case Study Method of Instruction Flip Classroom Gamification Peer Instruction Student Engagement Systems What do you know about didactics? The word didactics comes from the Greek language didaskain. It means teaching and techn suggests art, art of teaching. Didactics refers to the principles, phenomena, forms, precepts, and laws of teaching with no subject in particular, Stocker, 1964. Didactics is one of the sciences of education. It deals with the processes of teaching and learning. It concentrates mainly on how teachers, learners and knowledge interact and support one another. Because of this reason, it is a key subject in the teacher education curriculum. Definitions Medina, 2003 page 7, states that didactics is a discipline of pedagogical nature that focuses on the teaching goals and compromise with the aim of better human begins through the understanding and permanent change of the social communicative developments, and the receiving and appropriate growth of the teaching and learning process. Saar and White, 2016 page 142, claim that Didactics is knowledge-oriented, a science which aims to understand how teaching leads to learning. Gutierrez, 2001 page 15, defines didactics as The science which studies the teaching-learning phenomena as prescriptive aspects of an efficient methodology. Meyer, M. A., 2007, states that Didactics refers to the science of teaching, in relation to aims, subject matter, methods, and frameworks, within a specific field. Main issues of didactics. The major question is who should learn what with whom, where, how and what for. Who should learn what with whom, where, how and what for. Didactics is one of the disciplines in charge of the description of the teaching and learning processes and of the relation of them to different elements in the classroom, that impart knowledge or skill. 1. How will the teaching and learning happen? It is very important to conceptualize the ways and methods and to adapt them following the teaching-learning situation. 2. What is to be learned, aim? Without identifying the aims of the content the teacher is lost. 3. Why the knowledge is important? Students should be aware of the benefits of acquiring new skills from this content. 4. Who is learning the content? Teachers should be aware of the target students. Who are taking part in this course? What knowledge they bring to the teaching learning situation? How this will affect what they actually learn? 5. Where and when will learning take place? The learning environment is very important. Students may perform certain tasks or exhibit some skills within a specific teaching space. Didactics is a theory of teaching and in a wider sense, a theory and practical application of teaching and learning. It serves as a major theory in teacher education and curriculum development. We use the term didactics to describe the science or art of teaching, which covers the whole range of activities, instructional design, teaching models, assessment practices, human development and curriculum development. The process of teaching involves the teacher who gives instructions, commands, delivers content, and provides necessary information. 
This process also involves motivating the students to develop an interest towards the subject and to keep them involved during the different steps of the teaching learning process, through constructive interaction between the students and their teachers. Conclusion It is important for us, teachers, to be informed about what exactly, each of these terms mean. The word pedagogy refers to the profession of teaching, while didactics refers to the notion of education or discourse on educational issues. The table proposed by Saar and White, 2016 summarizes the differences between didactics and pedagogy. Pedagogy focuses mainly on Practice-oriented teaching A practical process Main focus, teaching practices and education Draws on didactic research which is applied component of didactics. Covers actors, curricula, content, context, and objectives. Didactics main concern is on. Knowledge-oriented matters. A distancing and theorizing process. Main objective, the analysis of how teaching leads to learning. Draws on various contributive sciences. Covers both second language acquisition and foreign language education. Didactics and Pedagogy, from Saar and White, 2016. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.